Hello, in this video I'm just going to show you how to make a bubble chart in Excel 365. This is very similar to how a perceptual map presents, so I'll, I'll cover that on my website. So what we're going to try and make is this example bubble chart down here, and we'll replicate that and we'll see how that is. As you can see, it's got two axes, it's got uh, the names in the middle, and it's plotted randomly. So let's have a look. So step one, organize your data. So I've got some direct marketing type data here for uh, various segments. I've got the segments lit labeled. I've got how recently they made a purchase, so how many days ago, how many purchases they make at a period of time, so how frequent they are. And then I've got the dollar value, which will form the size of the circle. So first thing, we need to have our data structured like that, so it's very easy to do. Then step two, we highlight the data. So notice I'm going over the numbers, not any of the text. And then I'm inserting a bubble chart. So I'm going to insert charts, come down here. I could do a scatter chart, but I'm going to do a bubble chart on this example. And I'm just going to drag it down so we can see the next steps. As you can see, it's formatting identically at this stage. What I always suggest is we check our data. So we just roll over it and it'll show 13, 13, 96, which is that one there, 36, 6, 4, 8, 8, which is that one there. So I can see the data is coming correctly and I've done that correctly. Next thing I want to do is put the names in the middle. So I just bring it over here. We hit the plus button to the side. Got to highlight the chart. If I don't highlight the chart, it disappears. Highlight the chart, go across to data labels, hit this little button here, across to more options. Just bring the video across and this will pop up. And what I want to do is pick up values from cells. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to ask me where I want. And that's going to be the names of the segment. So I'm just dragging those names in and then I'm going to hit OK. And I've got numbers there as well and it's off to the side. So I want to get rid of the Y value, which is the number. And I want, don't want any leader lines because I'm going to put this right in the center. And as we can now see, it's now formatted the same way as before. So I'm just dragging this across. Just get rid of that at the side there. And we've now formatted that. And now it's just a matter of formatting the chart itself. So we can do that quite easily in terms of a name. I just type over the chart title. Just put equals up, up there. And then I'm just going to call it example bubble chart. So it's actually picking up that cell. So if I ever change the name of the chart, I can do that. I don't have the, the names of the axis there. So again, I'll come over here and I'm going to come across axis titles, put them both in, they will pop up. And again, I can just quickly highlight them, go to the equal sign and the one running that way is frequency. Now, the reason I do that is I can then change that uh, at any time. So it doesn't, um, I don't need to go back into the chart. So once it's done, it's done. And I'm pretty well identical, except I've got colors. So if I want to change the colors, I can just um, come up here. Just bring it up, click on one of all of them to change all the colors or click on one if I just want to change one. And I just come up to format and just make that a certain color. And that's all I'm doing. And then I've got my, um, my bubble chart all done.